Dude, it's the friggin' 4th of July and I'm out to friggin' Utah. You kidding me? That ain't friggin' right. Friggin' guy like me, Donnie, I ought to be on a pontoon boat out on Sebago. Risking my friggin' life off of fries at a time like this. But unfortunately, got called out to a job site, so... You know, at least I'm up to Snowbird, they got some snow still. So if I ain't gonna be friggin' kicking back on a toon boat, then might as well be skiing, I suppose. What's going on, dude? How's oh, going? Awesome. Not bad. That's a nice rig you got there. Thanks. <laughs> Looks like you gotta throw some super swampers on it though. I do have some super swampers on the front. On the front, do ya? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's mud season, so you better. You do that paint job last night, did ya? I actually did. For the fourth, yeah, good for you. Dude, how long is this line gonna run me? Oh, uh, yeah, another buck thirty maybe? Maybe a buck forty? A buck forty. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I ain't seen a line this long since I was down to the fry bag fair waiting for me to grab a tron. It's insane. Yeah. Dude, you gotta friggin' put the bow horns right into the ticket check after holding this up like this. Oh, you always have that accent or yeah. just today? Sweet. What dude. accent? Well I've been walking back up the mountain for about an hour and a half. Could have been on the knife ridge of friggin' Katahdin by now, and we still ain't seen the end of the line. Probably gonna turn back, maybe try to find some snow elsewhere. Hey bud. Yeah. How to do Dude, of course I can. Oh, yeah? Yeah, probably not today because you can. You're busy, I, you're a busy man. Well, I feel you're yeah. going to be in line though, friggin' next year trying to get up there. That's the first reasonable outfit I've seen all day. Thank you. Well, friggin' <laughs> minus the hippie slippers, but. No, this is not, you know? When you were wearing that Connecticut jersey, they'd let you ride on the lift. Connecticut there, jersey? Friggin' frig that. I'm a Sea Dogs fan, dude. <laughs> do you work here? Well, let me ask you something, dude. How many guys from Maine did it take to build a lift this big? How many guys from Maine did it take to build a lift this big? This is built in 1971. Yeah, but how many guys from Maine did it take you to build that? I don't understand what you're saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, geez, bud. Can I ask you a question real yeah. quick? How many guys from Maine did it take you to build that lift? To build the lift? Yeah, how many guys from Maine did it take to build that? No idea. Don't know? No idea. Well, what did you have to give you to guess? How many did you say? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> a lot of guys from Maine. I'd say about 10. Okay. Yeah. Who'd you uh, contract out to build this here lift? You get Jimbro to do it? I don't know. Don't know. Who's Jimbro? Jimbro. Big construction agency out of Maine, dude. They build this? Yeah, whatever you want, man. Yeah, all right. On the friggin' chair lift, so we had to friggin' huff it right up here, but, you know, we're still getting some turns in at Snowbird, and looks like they got a couple of jumps and bumps, so should work out pretty good, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, Fellas, it ain't much of a freaking run from here. You ought to hike up a little bit higher. Get up there. That's like the size of freaking South Bay. I was just wet wearing regular ski gear with a friggin' face mask all covered up. Some no. Okay. I don't wear that technical shit. It's just a rip, but. Well, it's the last run of the season probably for me, so I think I'll put one down through the pucker brush here. There ain't no powder, but when you get in the brush, it's the closest thing to it. 